Let's talk about your Promethean Spinner app. If I access my menu just like that, I can find my Promethean Spinner app either pre-existing on my menu or I can go Applications and find my spinner right there. Once I open my spinner, I can select from a pre-existing spinner such as Room 32. If I touch the title, I can find the other pre-selected items from my queue right here. But if I want to create a new spinner, I can simply push Create List. From there, it'll open up a menu for me, where I can then enter the names. You'll see this handy floating keyboard that floats on top of anything, just like some of the other apps. And now I can enter my room number and my students' names. Anytime I want to add a new item, I can simply click Add New Item and enter the next item. You can have up to 50 items per spinner. Once I'm done, I click Done, and now my spinner will be created. But that's not all. I can access multiple settings. If I just come here to my settings gear, touch settings, now I get to choose what I wanna do with my spinner. Do I want a celebration like confetti? Do I want a sound like celebrate? I can also select the duration of time in which the spinner will spin. I could talk about how many options to display as well as how many times I'm going to go back and select that. I can even change the color of my spinner. Once I spin my spinner, now I have the option to hear that wonderful sound that we selected as well as the celebration that we get. You can have not only one, two, three, but you can have up to eight spinners on your screen at a time. If I want to change the size of a spinner, maybe I don't want it so large, I can come here and minimize the size of a spinner. I can have a large one, I can have a small one, and I can even have an additional spinner and open up to a maximum display so that I can see all three spinners at one time. Every spinner that you do change the sound settings to, you'll need to do that separately and individually on each spinner. But that's your Promethean Spinner app.